Hello everybody and welcome to my home. Tonight I'm gonna to show you my evening routine and I don't know how many of you guys have an evening routine but it's very important to me because as you know, studies have shown that if you don't have a good night routine, it's harder on you physically and mentally. So having a good evening routine will help you decompress, concentrate, and rest for the next day. So I'm gonna share with you my evening routine and let's get started. So my routine starts in the kitchen in the evenings. We've just finished dinner and my daughter helps with dishes and then the next step is getting her lunch ready for school. And I kind of prepared it for the video, but I always put together her lunches. Sometimes I wait till morning, but tomorrow morning is an early morning. It's a 6.45 day for us. So I just wanted to get prepared. Make sure I'm not thinking about that or if for some reason running late in the morning. I just want to make sure that it's ready. So that's ready to go. And then as you can see, my kitchen is pretty clean. I have to, it's like an OCD of mine, have to have a clean kitchen at night. I don't like dishes out. I don't like a lot of things on the counter. So I clean my kitchen and that is that. So let's go to the next thing, which is my evening bubble bath. So I always like to turn the lights down a little bit lower um, just to get the room ready. Say hi to my husband. Hi. And now I'm going to take you into my bathroom to where I enjoy a little bubble bath. So let's go in here. And again, I've already started the bath for the camera, but this is my evening routine. So next, it's time for that bubble bath. Okay, so before I get into the bathtub, I am going to put in two cups of Epsom salt. And I like to use just about anything I can find. This one is a Dr. Teal's of Eucalyptus, but I do absolutely, I favor the lavender, but I'm trying something new this week. But I always love to take a bubble bath uh, at night just to relax and relax the muscles. It soothes me and gets me extremely ready and tired for bed. So I try to stay in the bathtub for about 10 minutes, but most of the time it's five, just depending on the temperature of the water and how I'm feeling. And I wanted to share with you that for me it works really well, and as you know, studies have shown that if you do take a bubble bath, it does increase, or a shower, it does increase your, your body temperature. So as soon as you step out of the water and you start to cool, your body naturally releases melatonin, which will help you sleep better. I don't always like the candles, but I thought it'd be fun for you. Now I've had my bubble bath and it's time to make some hot water. So while I get the hot water brewing, I will show you my face routine. show you my skincare routine. Okay, so I use the Obagi skincare system. Um, I have combination skin and hormone acne, so this works the best for me. Um, these two products are on the end. I love the scent of them and how they feel on my face, so that's what I use. I don't know if you guys have used this Obagi system. They do have a travel size that I took on the road as well. This is what I'm using now. Um, but I love the way that this toner really feels on my face. Amazing. Don't forget your neck and behind your ears. So my daughter and husband will tell you every single night I tell them to brush, floss, scrape their tongue, and rinse. So that is my routine. I always floss. Next thing, my favorite, the tongue scraper. If you guys don't have one of these, you can get them just about anywhere. Um, I got this one at Target. And I love it because obviously it makes your breath a lot better, but it also gets rid of that icky bacteria that lives on your tongue. So you can brush your tongue. I definitely would recommend getting a tongue scraper. Talk to your dentist. 
and see what they recommend. And the final step of my oral hygiene, I rinse with Listerine. Okay, moving on to hair routine. So I'm in between extensions right now, so I'm using a couple of different products. I like this Basu oil from Surface and this thickening spray from Aribe. So I'm gonna go ahead, real quick, I just apply this on the ends of my hair in the evening just to make sure that they're hydrated. And I don't wash my hair every day. I probably wash my hair, I would say every three to four days. There we go. Got them on the ends of my hair there, anywhere I feel like could need it from breakage. And my hair is still a little damp. I did wash it earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray this Aribe thickening on my hair. All right, I do wear corrective lenses. So I just took those out, um, but I use this advanced formula. Okay, now it's time for bed. All right, I'm in bed. Windows open, it's time, my husband's sleeping. So I'm in bed and I always keep this by my bed. Um, I'll post the link later, but this smell just helps me relax. It's like a little mist. And I have my hot water. I'm gonna enjoy a book. And that's my bedtime routine. Good night, everybody. And stay healthy and safe out there. And let me know what your bedtime routines are. I'd love to hear from you.